Hello and welcome to a little quick video about how the Blue Pill and a Ragfly Uno can easily control your video hub. And this is based on the Reactor software that runs on the Blue Pill platform. And even though I'm not having a lot of panels connected today and just the Ragfly Uno, I want to show you how easy and wonderful it is to work with the uh, video hub integration on this panel and the Blue Pill. So let's just try and build this up from scratch. We really have a panel here, which is uh, in uh, blue pill mode. It's waiting for connection to the blue pill. And I'm logged into Reactor, which is the software that runs on the blue pill. So in Reactor, I'm currently on a project called Casper's Development for Blue Pill. So I'm probably playing around and doing things with stuff that is currently not connected, like a panel here and some devices, although one of them seems to be connected. But we have tons of stuff on the network. But what I want to do, if we want to build something up from scratch, I want to create a new project in Reactor. And I will now um, change project. I will, you see, I have tons of projects. And each project is basically a set of panels, sets of devices and configurations. And I can easily swap between them. So as you'll see me create a new product uh, project with support for video hubs, I don't need any online connectivity. I'm just connected to the web interface of the blue pill right here. So um, video hub, quick demo, add. And I can press OK unless I want to add even more explanation. Now I need to add a panel. So I'll click this button, add panel, and um, I will search for my Ragfly Uno. Just Ragfly here, then let's see what we have. Ragfly Uno is right here. I think this is the IP address of the panel. Yes, it is connected. I can even test the connection. Yes, it lights up. Yes, identify panel, perfect. Let's move on to devices. Now I want to find my video hub. And in the devices section, in the same way, I can network search my <clears throat> network for devices. And I will just type in video to filter this list a little bit. And the one I want to talk to is this video hub, the 12 by 12 video hub here. So I can just press select and this is now selected. Okay, so in a moment we'll see it's connected. If I go back to my home screen, we can see that panel connected, video hub connected. Now I need to merge them together. And that is basically what happens over here where in the mapping section you add a configuration. And I want to search up a configuration for the Uno. I have a number of configurations for the Ragfly Uno, which is ready to go out of the box. And many of these are associated with um, video router types uh, of things. The Opto Core is for audio. Uh, AJA Kumo is for video. Video Hub would be for me today. So I'll just pick this one and select this configuration like this. So final step I need to do is to basically map this panel into that configuration. The reason why we have this step is because we could have had multiple panels and then I could select multiple configurations and I need to map the panels and the co configurations correctly together. And the step is click this, select my rag unit and it's now connected. In fact, what you see right here is that the product is already connected to the video hub and I have the video hub um, UI right here. So let's just focus on output number one. We can uh, see there's a paging button here on the side for all the output. So basically these 11 buttons are selecting my output. These 11 buttons are selecting my input. And this is my pager and this is my pager for the output. So as I press the sides of this four-way button, you can see I'm going forth and back. And guess what? If you had a 244 by 244 video router, you would just have that many pages. Divide that by 11 and you know the number. So this is how automatically the system can respond to your um, smaller or larger video hubs. So I'm now on output number one called overflow monitor. And that label is pulled out of the video hub and put into your display right here. Over here, I have my input and now I am on input two, as you can see on the screen. And now I change it to input number one and you see that change on the screen here immediately. So, okay, it works, right? I promised you that configuration would be super easy. So if we go to the um, back to reactor, you can see three blue buttons. One is called router inputs, one is called router outputs, and one is called router presets. So in presets, you can set up a number of presets, which is a specific Skyhoy feature built into this product. If I press this button, you see this one becomes your preset. Ha, 
Clever. So now I have the preset page here. I have six presets available for me right over here. So those are, can be used to store and recall configurations of uh, sources on the video hub. And the six uh, presets here can, can receive a label that, um, um, number one, I'll write that in here, and we'll see immediately it changes in the display. We can type in number two and uh, and, and so on. So you can see how I can quickly and easily extend this. I can also reorder the presets if I want it, or I could add new presets. And as I do so, you can see more buttons are being populated on this panel. Isn't that great? Back on my main screen, this is where we set up the inputs and the outputs. In the same way I could set up presets, I can go to outputs and inputs and uh, change the number. I could even repeat an input if I wanted to. In fact, the division you find on a RecFly Uno is really uh, great. If you, uh, if you want to create like visual banks of inputs, you may not have exactly six input sources, but if you have four or five input sources, then you could just blank out a few of these. This is easily done by basically um, muting an input. So you can see how easily I could mute inputs here. So you can insert blank lines in this list of inputs if you wanted to, to blank out these and group the rest together. You can also easily add a color. So if I add a color code like red, red you can see how this button becomes red and the next one could be red as well. And uh, we could make two of them blue then. So this is so easily done in this interface. And Although I'm pulling the labels of the inputs and the outputs out of your video router, I can also provide alternative labels here. Like if I want to write piano, I could put it that in guitar and um, saxophone and drums. Then it's immediately in the displays of your panel. So you have many options here. It's super easy. And what is characteristic of Reactor and Blue Pill is that we have taken all those most critical configurations and given to you, put them right into your hands so that they are easy to manage in these kinds of tables. We call them constant sets. That's a technical term for them. Or it, it's like a setup um, table for settings that matter to your configuration. I'm sure you can imagine how this could be extrapolated to more sources and other arrangements and more colors. We have the same for the outputs and so on. And that's all happening inside of Reactor right here. You can do the same on Rackfly Duo, on Rackfly Trio, on other panels from Skyhire. It's the same engine that we are running this on. And if you are one of our long-term users, you might wonder, Am I able to even go and do the good old fashioned change this button to do something else that I wanted to? Yes, it's inside configuration, but you will need it much less than you did in the past. But if you go inside configuration and if you follow our, our teaching material on this part, you can see that we have a so-called tree, a layer tree with a hardware component behaviors inside. And this is where you can explore how we can actually let you change specific behaviors. You will see how the uh, blue components on the tree represent the currently active behavior. So for instance, if I change the paging, you can see how paging changes which one of these two groups of behaviors are being active at the moment for these 11 buttons. And the same is true for the outputs over here. But that's for a different video. If you want to know how you can control other video routers or how you can customize your blue pill and reactor configurations, follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are going to share so much information and teaching about this new platform from Skahoy in the near future.